Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to create a Windows Forms application with Microsoft Office Backstage View, similar to what you'll find in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So here we are in Microsoft Word. Remember, in the Backstage View, you have tools on the left-hand side. And you'll notice that as I click on different tools, the options on the right-hand side change. Today in our sample application, we're going to create an application with a Backstage View that has New and Open. Let's pretend this is an order management application where you can create a new order or you can open an existing order. Let's start by opening up Visual Studio and creating a new Windows Forms project. We're just going to stick with all the defaults and hit OK. The first thing that we're going to do is increase the size of our form. The second thing we've got to do is navigate the toolbox and pull up the Ultra Toolbars Manager. We're going to double click that to add to the form. And when you do that, we're going to get a dialog that's going to ask us if we want to add a panel control. We'll go ahead and choose the middle option, which will give us a lightweight panel control. The first thing we want to do is click Show Ribbon. You can see here that the left hand side has the office button that's used to bring up the backstage. But if you'll notice, it doesn't look like what you see here in Office 2013. After 2010, they changed the Office button and created this File tab instead. So to get the backstage view, you now use File instead of that Office button that you see here. Now we want to get the same look and feel, so we're going to adjust the properties on this control to get it. I'm going to press F4 to bring up the properties, and we want to adjust two properties here. The first one is going to be called Style. You can see it's default right now, but we're going to change that to Office 2013. You can see, as soon as I did that, we now have the look and feel of an Office 2013 backstage. I'll click on File and move to the second property that we want to adjust the ribbon itself. Again, we'll go to the properties of the toolbar manager and I'm going to look for the ribbon object. Expand that and we'll go down to the file menu style. We're going to change that to application menu 2010. Now you'll see that when I click file, the backstage view pops up and it looks just like it does right here in Word. Remember, we're going to create new and open tools. So we're going to go ahead and click File to open up the Backstage View. Now we'll click Insert New Tool, and it's going to be a tight pop-up menu. The caption, first of all, is going to be New. Let's click Add, and the second one is going to be Open, then we click Add again. These are both pop-up menus. Now I'm going to click on New, and the first thing I want to do is add a label that's going to say New. Basically, if I go back to Word, you can see on Open, we have a large label here that says Open. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. File, under New, we're going to say Insert New Tool. And it's just going to be a label. We're not going to give it a caption, but we need to give it a key. I'm going to tap Add. Now I can right click on this and choose Set Description on Menu. That's going to allow me to style that and create some text here. I'm going to type in the word New and change that font size to 28. Looks good to me. I'll hit OK, take a look at that, and beautiful. Let's do the same thing with open. We're going to insert a label, so let's set that as well. Set description on menu. And now we're going to type open. 
and adjust the font size to 28. And great, let's take a look at this. Now we have new and we have open. Now all I need to do is insert some tools under new to give my users some different options. Under new, I'm just gonna have create customer and create new border. Let's go and say new insert tool. We'll click on that, insert new tool. And this time the tool type will just be a button and the caption will be a customer. So new customer. For the second one, let's just say new border. Now all we have to do is set the graphics here by setting an image for the customer. I can do that by right clicking on it and setting the image. We'll go to images and say set large image. We're going to go to navigate to an image file and for a large image, we want to use something with the dimensions 32 by 32. I just navigated to image and I hit OK to set that. Let's take a look at that and perfect. You can set image to create a new customer. Now let's do the same thing for order. Right click, images, set large image, Let's navigate to where we have our graphics stored again, where we'll use an image that's 32 by 32. There we go, we have a new customer, new order, and you can imagine doing the same thing with open and create as many buttons as you want over there. Now let me hit F5 to see what this looks like. Remember, what I could have done is edit a ribbon here, added tabs and commands and groupings, but I didn't do that. In this video, we're just concentrating on the backstage. So I'll click on File and see my options. File, New, and Open. Then if I click on any of these things, nothing happens because I haven't handled an event. So let's head back to design mode and handle that event. This is really easy. All we have to do is open up the Properties screen on the Toolbars component, the Manager component. We go to the bottom and see Generate Tool Click Code. When I click on that, a great dialog comes up and makes things very easy. All I have to do is select the tools that I want to capture that code for. So let's handle the click event for a new customer and new order. We'll say Select All and you can see that my code is generated right here. So we'll copy to the clipboard and close this. Now we'll go back to the ribbon. Double click that and you'll see that we're now in the tool click event for the component. That's where we'll just paste in our code here. And for testing purposes, let's throw up a message box when someone clicks customer. So now we'll hit F5 and click File to access our backstage view. When we click on Customer, we'll see that we've successfully invoked our code. And that's all there is to it. So there you have it. In just a few easy steps, we created a Windows Forms application with Microsoft Office backstage view, similar to what you'll find in Microsoft Word. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.